Welcome back to part two of painting our rock fish. We're gonna go ahead and move on to making some details on our fish so they can reflect more of who we are. You don't have to make yours like mine as I am absolutely a different person than you are. Everyone is different in their own way. So just think about the ways you're going to paint your fish. But what I'm first going to start out with, you see that I have added more paints onto my palette here. I have white to make an eyeball and I have an extra small paintbrush that I'm going to use. And what I'm gonna do with this extra small paintbrush is I'm gonna dip it into the white and then I'm gonna go ahead and paint one eyeball on my fish here. So I'm I think I'm gonna give my fish nice big eyeballs. And with those big eyeballs, our fish will have two eyeballs. So we have one on one side. I'm going to flip him over to the other side and he's going to have an eyeball on this other side on his face. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint an eyeball there as well. And then I'm going to wait for that to dry. So we have one eyeball on that side and one eyeball on this side. Pretty cute little eyeballs. So as I wait for those to dry, I'm going to clean off my brush, gently taking some of that extra water off on the edge and then drying off my brush. And the next thing I'm gonna do is, people often notice that I like to match my eyeshadow to my outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this blue from my body and I'm going to add it over my eyes here and give myself some nice eyeshadow to match what I'm wearing on my body. And I'm gonna do the same thing to my other side. I'm going to dip that brush into that paint and then I'm going to add some eyeshadow. Now this is just something you can do as extra or you can skip but this is something that makes my fish look a little more like me. Now I'm gonna go in and my fish needs a mouth. It's missing a mouth. So you can do your mouth one of two ways. Not all of our rocks will have this nice flat surface in the front, but mine does. So I'm gonna go ahead and because I really like to wear makeup, I'm going to give my fish some nice big lips. So I'm going to give my fish nice big red lips because sometimes I like to wear my uh, lipstick as well. So I'm gonna give my fish these nice big red lips. And if yours doesn't come out well, you can even give your fish a mustache if you want, or a mask, whatever you want to make it look more like you and make it uh, more like your personality. But here in a little bit, as you noticed, I do have a Sharpie marker. When our rock is nice and dry, we can go in and put some more detail on there. Now I do advise that you make sure your rock is fully dry before you handle it like I am I'm holding it with my hand because if some of that paint sticks on your fingers then that paint will come right off of your rock before we even put the finish on there so make sure you're being very careful with that um, and just like we did with our rock putting on multiple layers I'm gonna put another layer here on the lips of my fish um, simply because I want my red to really stand out and I will do the same with my white of my eyes before I move on to another part of my fish. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this part white and then I'm going to go in and paint that part white so those parts are even brighter and see they stand out even more now. Now I'm going to move on to the body of my fish. How am I going to decorate this guy? Now, I have a couple of thoughts on that. I'm going to start off with my bigger brush, clean that off, make sure he's nice and clean. And I'm going to pick up some blue paint here and I'm going to make it look like there's drips going down this guy because 
I am messy all the time. Uh, mainly because I always have paint on me somehow. So I'm going to go in and add a big drip of blue here. I'm not actually going to drip the paint on my fish, otherwise that makes a really big mess. So I'm just going to make it look like there's drips on my fish. And I also wish I could have blue hair. So that is a life goal of mine, guys, blue hair. And then I'm going to put some blue on the other side here. Because again, you got to remember that both sides of your fish need to be decorated. And if you need to paint one side at a time, that's probably easier. Um, especially if you don't have a hair dryer handy. So there's my little splash there. Um, I'm going to give the inside of my fish, I don't have blue eyes, no, but be, blue is my favorite color. So I'm going to go ahead and add some blue to my fish in their eyes. Whoa, look at that. Brings them right to life. And when this is all dry, we can take a Sharpie marker and trace some of our things out. Say, like the lips. Our lips are pretty dry now. So I'm gonna go in and I'm going to trace my lips. Make them stand out a little more. And you'll have to go a little slow on this part as it is really hard to trace on a rock I'm also going to give it the middle here. Now the only way you can trace is when your fish is completely dry. So I'm going to go over here as well. And I like to wear eyeliner. So I'm really making my fish look like me here in a way. And again, you can really have fun with these guys. Um, I also like to put, again, like I said, my makeup on. So I'm giving my fish some eyelashes here. You can do whatever you'd like to yours. Um, like I said, if you really wanna give it a mustache or a beard, anything of that sort, you can. Um, again, make this fish your own and really make them shine because remember, it's all about being you. And really, we want all these fishes to be just as unique as you are. So I'm going to go in a little smiley face there. And I'm going to keep tracing. And you can do that with any part of the fish. You can even paint some scales if you'd like. But again, please handle your fish with care as it is very difficult to trace this guy, you gotta make sure it's nice and dry. So there's my fish. When you come to class, you'll be able to see the finished portion of it. All right, we'll see you soon. Have a great time. See you later.